This week, the world has watched and waited to learn more about the destruction caused and aid needed in Tonga. But just why do volcanoes actually erupt? That's a question I want to unpack with you. Volcanic eruptions have devastated communities for centuries, killing tens of thousands of people around the world. And with about 1,500 volcanoes on Earth, it's no wonder that we worry about these mountains of molten rock. But why do they erupt? More than 80% of the Earth's surface, above and below sea level, is volcanic. And deep below, the Earth's tectonic plates are always moving. Most volcanic activity occurs where these plates collide. Deep within the Earth, it's so hot that rocks slowly melt and become magma. Because the flowing substance is lighter than the rock around it, it rises. And then when the tectonic plates shift, the magma rises even higher and some of it pushes through cracks in the Earth's surface like vents and fissures and reaches the surface where it's then called lava. What kind of eruption the volcano will have depends on the properties of the magma. Thin and runny magma means that gas trying to escape can do so easily. So when this happens, the lava will flow out of the volcano. We've seen this with Hawaii's volcanoes. Because the lava flows slowly, people can get away quickly and it rarely results in victims. But thick and sticky magma is an entirely different story. There's less room for gases to escape, so pressure mounts. Gas gets trapped in the magma, which then explodes at the surface. This is called an explosive eruption, and we've seen it recently at the volcanic eruptions in Tonga and previously at Mount St. Helens in the US. Explosive volcanic eruptions can be dangerous and deadly. Lava, ash, debris can destroy everything in their path. In some cases, these eruptions have buried entire communities, like Mount Vesuvius at Pompeii and Mount Pele in Martinique. About 500 volcanoes have erupted since we've started keeping records, many around the Ring of Fire, which goes from New Zealand all the way around to South America, where the most subduction zones and plate movements are. All volcanic activity is closely monitored by scientists around the world. Tracking active volcanoes can be unpredictable, but in many, not all, cases, experts can usually see warning signs and alert the public before an eruption. 